we're excited for you to hear all about this new product that we picked up. Um, it's exciting for us because one, it's different than anything that's out there in the cat. There's nothing in the category that's exactly like it. Uh, you can throw different things like back pain and glass up against it, but this can do so much more. And Enrique is going to give you that whole spiel as far as what the difference is. He's the VP of, well, he's got a longer title, but I'm going to cut it down to uh, vice uh, president uh, and uh, manager uh, of, <laughs> of uh, business development and sales for Polyvision. Um, Polyvision, we've, you know, it's been around for years. Uh, the nice thing is, is we do have also a factory here in Ohio that doesn't make all the ceramic steel, but is getting closer to making, you know, more and more of that. So you'll also, you know, be supporting an Ohio factory soon. So with that, I'm going to turn it over to Enrique and let him jump into the presentation. Well, thank you, Tim. Uh, well, I'm glad to be here with you. Uh, beautiful weather here in Ohio. Looks like from where I am, Florida, uh, sunshine, gorgeous. Uh, today, we're going to talk about two Asian type of uh, 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 products. One is glass, in which it's been around for 300, uh, 3,600 years. Uh, is one material that never changed really the way it's been made. And, and by the way, I hope in the process we're going through the presentation, you're enjoying uh, the wine from Rioja. Rioja <laughs> is a region in Spain that is in the central north part of Spain. Very unique because the, this type of wine uh, is uh, come from a grape called Tempranillo, only from the region of Rioja. And by the way, it's also Asian. It's been around for more than, uh, by the way, 11 centuries before Christ was when this region, wine region, was established by the Romans. Uh, so I love it. I hope you enjoy it. Salud. And salute. And we can, can everyone see? The presentation, all right, or does it? The screen? Yeah. You see the PowerPoint I'm presentation? That's how it looks. Yeah. Well, it looks like. Oh. Yes. Okay. So it's all full view. Yeah. All right, good. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> today we're going to talk about glass. But for the first time, you're going to hear about a new application using glass. You, you've seen it. Uh, again, it's been around forever. Uh, and usually it's been used by designers and architects as a, uh, as a wall application using back painted glass. So we are going to compare that material with ceramic steel. Ceramic steel is another way of using glass in a panel system. <laughs> so why we were talking about ceramic steel? <laughs> there, there is some uniqueness about this material that really will be interesting for us to, to talk about. One moment, let's see. There you go. So, uh, it's, again, it's glass on metal. So, instead of just a glassy surface, you can order this material in both glass or matte or a satin finish in which you can you have you can have the shiny or matte look that you're looking for another important point about this material is great for GCs because you can manipulate the panel in the job site you can cut the panel with standard uh, uh, products and and you can adjust these panels the the electrical outlets in the job site in which back painted glass you cannot really touch that panel at the job site so this is another area in which it's important to understand what is going to be a material uh, that is similar that back painted glass the next point i think is also very very important is price. 
when we compare the two, ceramic steel is cheaper than backpainted glass. For a regular backpainted glass, uh, it's about 30% cheaper. If you add into the backpainted glass uh, the magnetic finish, then it's about 60% less expensive uh, ceramic steel. So that's another welcoming feature of the material. So what is this uh, material made of? So is a powder glass, uh, recycled glass in a powder uh, way in which is fueled into a specific type of steel that is not an steel that is available in the marketplace that easily. It's a, it's a unique type of steel made by uh, three mills globally, one in Asia, one in Europe, and one here in the US. And this steel is about 28, 24 gauge thin. It's very thin steel and uh, goes to a foil line production process in which is fueled twice that glass into the steel about 1200 degrees to come to a smooth, perfect finish glass surface on steel. Another feature of the material is the resistant to bacteria, could be hygienic, resistant to scratches, stain, graffiti, fire, So let me show you some of these uh, features and benefits in a short, very short video. Need to get some music behind that. It's easy to clean. <laughs> it's very easy to clean and uh, durable. As well, it's a, it's a material that is already crater to crater. So it's a man, environmental friendly especially for California, for those uh, states in which the, the, the uh, public sector require a material to be certified greater to greater. Let me show you some of the applications. Uh, this is one in particular that is uh, uh, ideal for the material, that is a work space. Uh, environment in which uh, a meeting room in which there is collaboration involved. Uh, it's perfect for that. Also, I want to mention in education, this is the only surface material with an ISO standard for writing and projecting. So it's been around, by the way, about 50 years. And that's why uh, ceramic steel in education, both in Europe and here in North America, has 99% market share in education. So maybe all of you went to college <laughs> and schools and you didn't know you were using a whiteboard with ceramic steel. So in architecture, the problem is 98% of architects, they never heard about it, they never seen it in an architecture application. That's what I'm trying to show you here. Uh, for example, in education, 50% of the surfaces used for whiteboards are matte finish or low gloss. And of course, you wanna take that in consideration for a, for a work environment, for a conference room, for example. In this case, this is a, a classroom. Which you can see that you're projecting on it. As far as so, it's also projectable. Yeah, that's standard glass. Exactly. So, so um, you save money uh, instead of using the the oh, projection nice. screen uh, by by using the whole wall uh, with ceramic steel, so you can project and write on it. So it's ideal for that type of uh, scenario. And lobbies, elevator floors, uh, areas is ideal. Uh, if you're considering back painted glass, you know the headaches of using that material in this type of application. I was the other day uh, in, a, in a dealer in which they have a project of a 30 story back painted glass elevator. Area. 
and they were going crazy because they had some damaged uh, panels, some uh, walls, uh, they needed to adjust the panel and those uh, painted glass panels weren't, they weren't able to use those panels. And it, it, so, so we don't have that issue with uh, ceramic steel. You can adjust the panel, you can cut the panel uh, at the job site and is uh, uh, the yeast is loaded and the stall is loaded, loaded for that scenario. We're actually talking to three or four different companies. As far as doing their parking garages, their elevators and also just the rest of the parking garages, you know, as far as once you get out of your car and you're getting close to entrances, because those walls just get so beat up, right. you know, just with paint, and they have to paint it so often that they're seeing that they can use this type of stuff, you know, in those applications. So as you see, it's not only available in one color, it's available in multiple colors, and also in digital print, uh, 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 applications in which you can be creative and you can develop your artwork that is not in top of the surface, by the way, is fueled with that glass into the steel. So the finish is absolutely perfect. Perfect. The, 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 the design is never going to be damaged uh, uh, by, uh, by uh, scratches or, or uh, BU lights. Other type of scenarios, cafeterias, uh, in which you can be creative now with data print uh, surfaces, arenas, stadium, and healthcare, of course, in which, again, going back to the features and benefit, we're talking about hygienic, bacteria resistant, fire resistant, impact scratch resistant. Uh, of course, it's not resistant to vandalism. Mm -hmm. But it's a scratch, it's an ISO certified uh, a scratch resistant surface material. So, in healthcare, pet walls, uh, in this case, you have three scenarios of the features that are important fire resistant, scratch resistant, and hygienic. Mm -hmm. So, I don't think there is any other panel solution. For a health wall application with those features and benefits in the marketplace. Then you should also have all the information that you need, like the nurse, the doctor, the patient, so that can be written onto those walls since you can write on it. Well, right here in the sign, you can see but you can use sign that, that head wall and that Absolutely. Way you don't have to add on the cost. Exactly. Right? As you can use it as a writing surface. Yeah. So you can be very creative uh, with uh, these type of surfaces. Uh, so it's also fade resistant. So one of the things that this end user, if I remember correctly, which was down in Louisville, that this is in their hallway where there's these big windows and the sunlight just pounds on that. And they were worried that if they put any artwork up there, that it would fade, you know, due to the sunlight that was hitting it. And with that, you know, since it, it does not fade over, doesn't time. fade at all. Uh, right. uh, uh, you, you, we have uh, exterior uh, buildings uh, in, in Europe uh, with digital print. So uh, they've been there for 25 years. In fact, here in Florida, we have the Disney All Star in Orlando. Right. There are three buildings, uh, three hotels in which uh, in Florida we have the sun. You guys had sun down there? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, well, uh, I am. Yeah. My tan come from, uh, you know, uh, a lot of sun in Florida and and rain and uh, and the and hurricanes sometimes uh, <laughs> once a year. Uh, and and in Orlando, those three buildings they've been there for more than twenty five years. And you go tomorrow to see it, and you right. think they're brand new, gorgeous, uh, gorgeous uh, uh, buildings. And let me show you this in particular. This is an old uh, station. This is the oldest station in Belgium. And the reason why I'm showing you this is because, uh, uh, well, uh, something very bad happened. They, they had marble uh, panels in this. This is a very high ceiling in this station. And basically one of those panels uh, 
fell and killed somebody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So so the authorities, they wanted to keep the same finish look. So happens to be that even though Polyvision, this material it, it, it was found here in the US and we make the material here in the US in Oklahoma, we also have a factory in Europe happens to be in Belgium. So they wanted us to uh, to match the marble finish look, and we did that, and really uh, looks the same basically. Like and by the way, we never had any of these panels <laughs> get out of the <laughs> the area. We never had an issue with the installation. So thinking about that too, as far as the marble look and that, just think about back splashes, but um, sinks. Uh, bathrooms, you know, any of those type of things. If you are working on any, you know, um, multiple family locations, any the hospitality, anything like that, this is a great product to put into those because of the cost, you know, versus cleaning care. If you look at a lot of these places with the tile and the grout, yeah, if you just look at the cost of tile and grout, tile and grout might be less expensive, but the taking care and the upkeep of it and the san sanitation or the sanitary, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, the cleanability of it, you know, this is going to save that much more from it. And it's going to get, one guy told me that he thought his ROI would be within a year. Yeah, we're, we're basically talking about glass here in a, in, a, in a metal finish, right? In which is scratch resistant and easy to clean all day long like any other glass, right? So that's what you're looking for here. Uh, in the future, uh, in the near future, uh, you will see toilet partition with uh, using ceramic steel. Uh, it's been used in other countries already, uh, basically replacing stainless steel toilet partition. That is a premium partition. So when you compare uh, the durability versus uh, glass, back painted glass is uh, is more durable, uh, better features uh, that back painted glass, and comes in two different uh, finish: uh, the flexible uh, the curved panels, especially to make columns, and the three plate uh, flat panels like this one in particular, in uh, the three plate in which basically uh, this whole half, half inch uh, is composed by a NDF uh, resistant to water and the backer is uh, uh, carbonized steel. And the panel basically, uh, the flexibility is you can go from five foot wide to up to 12 foot standard. You can go higher. Uh, it's, not, it's not easy to carry a panel that is 16.4 feet uh, high, but we can make them 16.4 feet. So there is a lot of flexibility with ceramic steel versus back painted glass as well. So the diameter for the columns is the minimum is 18. Uh, you can stock these uh, sections of the uh, columns up to 12 different panels. So you can make huge columns using ceramic steel. Uh, drawings, specifications are available in Polyvision website. Colors. Again, there are about a dozen uh, standard colors, but besides standard colors, we can match colors, right? There is a minimum order for that. Uh, uh, the, the flexibility of using also digital print is what makes the product unique. Uh, and this is a process in which uh, you designers and architects are always in control. And we like to, to, to have it that way. So, you know, the artwork uh, is always going to be reviewed uh, by you and our team uh, for the color and the resolution. 
the layout uh, that is created by you is going to also uh, go through the process of uh, what are the sizes that are going to be decided based in the drawings that you're going to develop for the for the job and and the strike off of uh, the material process you are in total control of that so in the very end uh, when you go to all of those approvals then the the material is ordered to be manufactured for you Enrico, what is the color basis it's not powder coat it's wet paint is it ink is it is uh, is uh, there is there is several materials uh, 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 you know make up the hundreds of materials that we use to make colors uh, with glass and steel. It's very complex, and they come from different markets globally. So uh, uh, some of them send a reference or give you. Sure, you talk about this is this is the best way to do that. Uh, the ideal scenario. For every time you have a project and an idea, you have just the picture ready, you send it in, in Adobe to us or AutoCAD, and we get back to you with the, that uh, uh, process that I showed you before. And we have somebody in the team that is uh, specialized in, in this process. Kate is uh, going to walk you through the whole process. So, so you will always be in total control before we make the finished production for you. So the warranty. So when we talk about the surface itself, self the, the surface is about scratch resistant uh, and the fate that Tim was uh, talking about and writing, projecting, and the glossy is warranty for life. The panel, because it's, com it's a composition of other materials, is a standard warranty of 10 years. So that's the story of ceramic steel versus back painted glass. Uh, so, you have any questions? Enrique, I walked away for a minute. So I don't know, I don't know whether you talked about the weight of ceramic steel versus painted glass. Did you discuss that at all? Uh, it's depend of the sizes of the panels you're going to be selecting. But it, but panel versus panel. If I'm doing the same, if I'm doing the same ceramic steel size versus the same back painted steel. Size. Well, uh, what I can the big advantage about the weight is about uh, the way you have to uh, uh, you you have to package these panels to be transported to well, the job site for the site. And it's, you know, uh, so the first process is packaging mm -hmm. to put it in the container. And okay. it, 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 the cost of packaging uh, back painted glass, because you, you cannot store so many in a container back painted glass panels. Ceramic steel, you can have a full containers of panels of uh, our material. We can stock up to uh, 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 50 different panels per, per crate. So uh, in the case of uh, handling the, the, the panel is, is easy, is less weight of uh, versus uh, glass. So another huge cost saving is the, the shipping, you know, because if the you're shipping doing one, is a huge saving. We got one back painted glass panel. They have yes. to make this whole big crate to ship yes. that thing. Yes, sir. With this, you're not gonna have that. So that cost alone will drive this down even you know the cost of the product absolutely that's uh, that's a it does a uh, one of the considerations again for for installation when we're trying to compare apples to apples right what what the market knows is back painted glass 98 percent of architects and designers they never seen this material before in an architecture application so uh, uh, you know, of course, you have so many different panel solutions in the marketplace, surface solutions. So I'm trying to compare apples to apples, glass with glass. Millions of dollars is being used by architects and designers uh, using back painted glass. When this is the same product, fair and less expensive. And that's the story that we're trying to uh, again create uh, 
you know, we have a long way to go because of course, 98% of architects, they never heard about it, but that's for me uh, an opportunity yeah. because this is refreshing, this is new, this is a new glass that nobody knows and it's, it's going to be easier for them to, to use. Okay, I got one last yes, question sir. before I turn it over to everybody else. What size is the biggest pan, single panel you can get? Well, uh, uh, we can go from five, four, four foot uh, wide to, to up to 16.6, .6, but, but uh, you know, uh, architects, they have to think about how we're going to carry, let's think about <laughs> New York City, right? right. How I'm going to carry so Ohio. Ohio. <laughs> We're in Ohio. Okay, let's let's think of Columbus, Ohio. In Columbus, do you have a building that is a ten story high? And how you are going to carry a panel that is sixteen? We don't worry. About that. <laughs> I understand. I understand. So, so really, really, the standard goes from ten to twelve, right? And and but there is flexibility in, in production, which also back in the class they don't have that. How about the is it thin enough that it can curve? You can have a curve, Absolutely. or is that actually Absolutely, it's so. deeper. For curved panels, what we do, we, we uh, well, the, 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 the composition is ceramic steel with another ceramic steel uh, backer to make very strong uh, panel solution. And that's the way we use curved panels. So that's probably way less. Oh, no, absolutely, glass way less. Like you just see nobody does curve. Well, but again, it's a curve that. panel. It's an actual curve panel. Yeah, you can see it right here. Yeah, I wasn't clear. That was, yeah, that's oh, amazing. Yes. <laughs> curve panel. This is one of the most beautiful uh, areas uh, so, in Belgium yeah. uh, yeah. Now we can do that it. I ever seen. Yes. Yeah. Are there any questions as far as? Does anyone else have more questions? Enrique, I heard that you said that it was, um, you can project onto it. Is it also magnetic? Oh, yes. Uh, uh, you have a magnetic here? Oh, here. Yes, absolutely. Remember, it's metal. Okay. So, the, but the metal component comes through, and so you can, you can actually. <laughs> Earth magnet. Are you sure? Yeah. Sorry. And that's, that's not an Earth magnet. That's a. Well, the cheap ass thing I got from you put it backwards. You put it backwards. Backwards, it did put it backwards. backwards never work. <laughs> but yeah, you, you notice how little, how little this. Where's the camera? How little this, you know, magnet is. And like I said, it's not one of those earth magnets where you get your finger in the way and you <laughs> walk away with. Less, you know, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and then also, um, I don't know if you said about the difference between shadowing that you get on glass, because everybody has been using glass lately, but there is a, a shadow that you get because of the dimension of the glass. And I think your very first picture shows well, that. Well, let's be honest. The, 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 that other material is, it was not invented to, 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 to offer these features, right? Yeah. Ceramic steel in the very beginning, when was used uh, for, was in education for those purposes, for as a projection surface, as a writing surface, and certified, right, by ISO. So, and by the way, the US government, the federal government, and all of the European countries, uh, you know, Western European countries, and now many of the Eastern European countries, uh, apply the st ISO standard. So mm -hmm. that's why in all of those countries, 99% of the schools use this material. You know, one of the stories uh, I, uh, I was with the Ministry of Education of Brazil, in which in those countries, they, they only use melamine as a writing surface. So they wanted to see how those, this material was made and they wanted to go to Europe and they wanted to visit schools and universities. So we, they went to, uh, I was there with them, they went to France. So they asked, let me, you know, uh, they went to the principal of the school and they asked her to show me, you know, uh, uh, whiteboards. And they said, what? Nobody comes here to see whiteboards, mm -hmm. you know? So they show them the whiteboards and they explain, well, this one has been here 20 years, they saw one 30 years, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, that was the end of the story. <laughs> so now the law of the land in Brazil uh, is ceramic steel as well. And 
who else makes many, who else manufactures ceramic steel? We control the 90% of the raw material for the steel. Again, this is a particular steel, right? 90%. It's not 90%. This is we're the only US made factory of ceramic steel, period. In Europe and in the US, we are the only source of ceramic steel. But it's available. Uh, uh, in Ohio, we have a factory ready. We make panels out of the Ohio factory. We make the coil material in, in, uh, in Oklahoma and Belgium. Any other questions out there? As far as uh, mounting options, like I guess, how does this secure to yeah. like an exterior wall versus the interior? Let's, well, I'm sorry, we are going to try to do this up. <laughs> in the magnet. So I would turn this. Uh... Yeah, so. so we partner with a company uh, called Gordon. Uh, Gordon is a, an expert in uh, what is the. Uh... Can you? Can you... Uh, okay. no. No, they're cool, they're not. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's backwards. I am not installer. <laughs> so just remember what he's talking about now. Okay. Sort of the wall system, not right. just. So the mounting system, the mounting system, you 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 can use it with a reveal and without a reveal, uh, of course. And we partner with a company called Gordon, in which we make the panels and they make the hardware for these panels. Okay. So we can offer a complete solution for the installers. Okay. So this is the way it looks like, really. Mm -hmm. So would the specifier work with Gordon to help, or how would we? We work together with them to, we partner with them to to, to offer the complete out. solution, yes. Uh, mm -hmm. So you, you, uh, we, we, we basically, you, you, we get One the stop. orders for you, uh, the communication is through mm -hmm. television. Okay, first. but if you're just doing a standard glass board type application, you don't have to go through all of that. It can just be with a Z bracket. It can be with off um, standoffs. It can be. It doesn't. Yeah, you can. That's exactly what he's talking about. The Z okay. bracket. It's a very simple mm -hmm. uh, hardware. But can you flesh them out using just like a construction adhesive? Yes. Okay. Yes. There it won't. Okay. Yes. 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 There's a thousand, there's a bunch of different ways to actually wall mount this stuff. We just have to try and see what you're going into, what kind of look you're trying to, you know, and everything else. Is yeah. The, the important thing is we work with drones, right? Mm -hmm. And we have a, a, a team a specialized to walk you through the installation process to help you with that. That's Gordon. We have another team in Polyvision. Uh, take Kathy, in which she deals with all of the data print uh, processes that you have to go through and consider. And uh, we're here to help, you know. Uh, again, uh, I think it's a, it's a good story when you, when, when you understand what is really back painted glass and what is ceramic steel. Mm -hmm. And you didn't have that option before. Now, I think it's an easy one. Uh, for some applications like uh, meeting rooms, uh, office uh, conference rooms, it's a no-brain. You know, I don't understand why there is a conference room without a wall like this. You know, should be a standard moving forward because that's the whole purpose of a conference room. Uh, uh, so uh, the important thing is a U.S.-made company and product. Uh, we are a global company. The material is available in all of the countries. Uh, we have uh, personnel in around the world, and it, it, but uh, we're here to help uh, and try to help you with your projects and guide you through the process. Yeah, you can even put this stuff in a lot of the demountable wall systems. That could be the panel inside of it. No, I didn't. But I've been thinking about that for a long time. No. So you can put it into there. The other thing is, you see some people that do hospitality. You know, the other thing I can see it into is like 
a lot of these places you go into and it's a bar or whatever and they have the 19 different beers or the 20 or 30 different beers they have or whatever and hell half the time you can't read it because it's all erased and everything else and with this you know it's much cleaner so you can get it you can have logos put on it and everything else so any other questions out there amongst I know that one of the points of this is it's very durable. Um, as far as like chemical and like other kind of cleaners, is there anything you can't put on? Absolutely, uh, it's been certified for uh, for cleaning using all kind of chemical uh, mm -hmm. uh, products. So. You could take spray paint off with it. Okay, so yeah, and you could put the stuff that takes spray paint off on it. Yeah, that's probably over. worse than the spray paint. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, I just, I had one quick question. Um, in the presentation, it said that there was lifetime warranty for scratches or damage, but in one of the like printout things here, it said a 20 year limited warranty in the durability section. So I just wanted to verify what the warranty yes. That's a good question. Yes, uh, there is a composition of the panel solution versus what is the surface material, right? Right. The surface itself, when it's not uh, well, uh, in those three features: fading, scratch resistant, writing, projecting, is is certified, right, by ISO, and is also uh, warranty for life. A panel composition, because it's composed by other materials, so the complete panel solution has a different one. That's like warping, right? That would be something like that. Does that answer your question, Katie? I'm not totally sure. So in this, in the um, the literature here, it says durability, both surface and image. 20 year limited warranty, scratch and abrasion resistant, uh, color fast, um, and then the other. That might have been an older brochure too. Do you okay. have, do you have uh, what type of brochure you have? You have a, a, a what type of application is for a panel solution? It, it, um, this one is just for polyvision, ceramic surfacing. Yeah, that's for so a panel solution. Energy. So for okay. a panel solution in that case, yes. That's a composition panel. The surface itself, because we've been in the education sector, going through that process of warranties, we can apply the same warranty for life in the surface itself or for the features that are ISO standard and certified. It's, it's probably just worded wrong, Katie. It's different. It's, it's, it's different not... because the panel composition, for example, if the panel, but she's saying the panel is, is is destroyed. She says the the brochure says that but it's it not, the out. brochure is not explaining right the, so the, the, the warranty. Now. So the warranty basically a panel complete the panel is damaged. So that's warranty for the X amount of years. The surface itself, the warranty is for life for the features and benefits that we are advertising in our website. <laughs> There are the, those are the features and benefits of the ISO standard that Polyvision applied to. Okay, so the surface itself has lifetime, but the like kind of substrate underneath, if that gets deep enough damage, then that's uh, an X amount of years, like you said. That's exactly right. Yes. Okay, great. Thank you so much. Good Work. question, Katie. Any other questions? Well, if there's no other questions. Any question about the, the wine? Real wine, 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 uh, wine, wine, really good. It's only, yes, it's only Tuesday. Very much. <laughs> it keeps getting better. It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been my pleasure. Uh, uh, thank you, Kim, for the invitation. Yes, thank you. Uh, uh, very glad to be here with you uh, and try to tell the story of uh, what is this material. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Come again. <laughs> Thank you, guys. And thanks again for sending the wine. I really appreciate it. That was fun. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Uh... Thank you.
Cool. So anybody want any food or anything? <laughs>